Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we're furthering our quest to get off this planet and there's just a lot in here I'm curious I want to I want to look around oh it's a steel I want to steal I want to look around see what's going on this looks like a dead body cover but I'm pretty sure it's just greenhouse stuff is this what is this like purified water maybe I don't know I don't know if he, uh... Hmm? Gold- <gasps> Oh my gosh, she did- She stole the body- <gasps> She stole the- She's stealing the bodies! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's stealing bodies from the graveyard. Cause that's the gold teeth from the guy whose body went missing. Like they couldn't find it. Oh my gosh. Oh dang. I mean, I don't, they gotta they gotta make a living. Like I get it, but like I don't know. She's like making a big deal out of how they treat their dead bodies and and then she's actually using them as fertilizer Zoe's journal oh this is Zoe's house nice that's it then no more edge water for me no more cannery no more jumpsuits and gloves yes ma'ams and would you like another's I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake because I've always hated the cannery I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself oh wow I did hate the veil once didn't I just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Okay. So, she stole some stuff. Oh, this must be the cereals. Which isn't good. Like, in the sense that, like, she potentially stole from other people, maybe? I mean, the way that they restrict it's dumb, and wanting to treat yourself when you're sick is something we do, but when you're, like, as a general rule, in, like, first world countries, but, like, um... It's kind of like a privilege, almost, to be able to do that, you know? Today's been the, today's the day. Today's the day to do destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder Threat, bands of wild, free-spirited bandits. Oh, living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me, living a life of comfort and ease, freezing free of any rules. I bet they could take a whole region if they were organized. I wonder if the reason they're organized is because of Zoe, or if she's just been eaten. I've been tucking away some Adelaide's food and I've got some spare cans of Saltuna. Should last me a couple weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even Marauders, right? I got odds these Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of Marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizos. Okay. So, uh, all anybody had to do was go look at her journal pages that she leaves laying around. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was, uh, that was the, the, the least intensive, um... Friggin' investigation I've ever had to do. You hungry? We got canid ribs. Oh! Canid flank. Canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? It's Stefan. Uh, what, what are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. That's disgusting. Sell, 5% discount, okay. I've got so many things. Oh, I could wear, I could wear that. Oh, I have, oh, 
That would be nice. Okay. Maybe I could give that to... I don't know. We'll sell that. Alright. I don't have to ask him about anything anymore because all I went is I went in there. Well, it could be interesting, I guess. To get his opinion. Something I can help you with? You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Uh, tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. <laughs> Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. I've literally only asked one question. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. Maybe I can learn. I was her gonna back. surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Okay, it's good I talked to him. He gave me something that I can use to, like, lure... Although I don't know if I want to lure her back. She seems very, um, unreliable. Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Was she acting strange? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps uh, of paper. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got time. Bye. All right, so that's uh, that's been addressed in all its glory. Let's see if I can't find other people. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Can't really steal anything. This is a big one. Or rather, I don't want to steal anything. Keep your uh. wits about you, friend. Oh dang, is this like a, a kitchen area? Okay. And upstairs. Oh, hello. I can't really talk to anybody. Hmm. I would like to talk to more people to figure things out. I guess there's more. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Um... Who? I only see deserter and deserter. I don't see a Thomas. Unless I talk to them. Keep your wits about you, Freddy. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Oh, this guy maybe. Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. I was uh well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Uh huh. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Uh. You're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh gosh, no. I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I, I'm healthier looking, potentially. Just trying to get my ship off the ground. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all <laughs> trying to get our ships off the ground, anyway. <gasps> it's deep. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Mm-hmm. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Uh, never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. 
I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. Ah. I know the old community center kept a copy. Oh, Should man. find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Oh, you mentioned two pads. What about the third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? I'd be grateful. Wanna ask What's you on your mind? You say you pretended to be an engineer. How have you been getting away with it? Luck, mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Oh, I can swap out a water filter or charge up a battery and go on pretending I know what I'm doing. But the moment I'm asked to do any real engineering, I'm in trouble. How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. I mean, this isn't that far from Edgewater. What were you doing out there? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, <laughs> Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. Aww. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Aww. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Bye. <laughs> uh, workbench I don't need. That was sweet. And yeah, it's like he, he doesn't, you know, it's not about like whether or not you're like good at a job or whatever. The, it's like if you don't fit into a very specific mold, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do anything for you. You know, they're not gonna, there should be like peace, you know. What? Uh, why, 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 why? Why are there mines? I mean, I get that you guys need some sort of security thing, but put up a sign. I am legitimately curious. Oh, dang. Am I like. I like having some issue. I can't run right now. <sighs> am I good yet? Um, I don't want your food or your stuff. I want to find the dead bodies. I know things aren't peachy keen here. Maybe I'll go at. Maybe I can ask her about them. Ask her about the gold teeth I found. Save. Time to save. Cause this could go poorly. Confronting people. Anything else I can do for you? They have such gorgeous eyes. Uh, this might okay. Maybe maybe we'll try to we'll try to do the other, other ones first. This might be strange. I don't know where I am. That's not strange at all, dear. Yeah, we're getting philosophical. Few of us truly here. know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end, and it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step in discovering yourself. Um, not the answer I was expecting, but you still cheered me up. <laughs> Glad I could help, dear. A sadness of the heart brings sickness upon the whole body. It might sound a bit cliche. Are you not feeling well? Ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. But, um... <sighs> uh, for some reason, 
I, I kind of want to say it. I was kidnapped by a crazy scientist and shot in space, but thanks for asking. That sounds like fever talk, all right. So why am I tempted to believe you? Where did you say you were from? T. Um. Uh, does the hope ring any bells? Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the veil. How come the grave digger knew? Um, not exactly. It's a colony ship. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. No! You really ought to lay your head down, dear. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Won't cure what ails you, but it will distract you for a spell. <laughs> you don't believe me? Maybe I do. I don't know yet. Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the hope. Always believed it was just a story we told ourselves to keep our spirits up. Uh, Listen, what, what don't does you it worry do? about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks of you going around talking about lost ships I from haven't. decades past. You're literally the first person I told. I haven't done anything wrong. You carry on about coming here from another world, and people will talk. Talk leads to questions. Ask enough questions, and the board comes answering. I'm not afraid of the board. No, but the board may have reason to fear you. Let's talk about something else. I'm listening. When we first talked, you seemed like I'd come here to live. I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. They're certainly very well, bright I to me. I have seen you for what you are. And what's that? Remains to be seen. Well, I... Might be the woman that saves the veil. Might be Reed's personal gun hand. Save the veil? People around here lack the strength to affect change. Or they have the strength, but not the will. I do have a lot of strength. You seem to have both. <laughs> uh, why are you telling me all this? A little prattling never hurt anyone, dear. You might even catch a little sense. If you listen close enough, I can't I like stop her. you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. Um, you can't. Maybe it no, doesn't. Uh, I don't trust Reed as far as I can throw him. We've talked enough. I'm listening. Don't tell me what this gold teeth are for. Haven't you ever seen a novelty paperweight? Perception. Your left eye twitches when you're trying to lie. Whatever absurd accusations you have churning about in your mind, I assure you I have heard them all. Um... I wasn't accusing you of anything. I did nothing wrong. The teeth were harvested from a body that went cold long before my tools ever touched it. Gold does not decompose. The teeth had to be removed. And while I am no licensed dentist, I should think I did a fair job of it. Science 15. You're using decomposing bodies to fortify the soil and help your crops along. I cannot tell you how refreshing it is to converse with a rational mind. Uh, That's exactly right. Her eyes Rot changed colors. Is necessary for life. A corpse is bursting with the nutrients a young sapling craves. The crops I grow here are natural, nutritious, healthy. My garden does more than fill the bellies of my flock. Why did her eyes change color? It keeps color? them from falling ill. Um... Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I know that the lighting changed a little. I assume whatever watery thing that she's got go water pillar may be changed. But her eyes just went from bright green to like a golden brown. That's a, that's a lot of big change. Um. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, there are some places nowadays where you can actually like donate your body to places where you know, like they will grow things or like, a, what is it, like a natural, not natural burials, but like uh, burials where like 
they'll like put your body in a bag essentially and grow a tree out of you you know like like a de like a decomposing bag or whatever and and a tree will grow you know and like a part like a part of me appreciates that where it's like okay that's nice like you're not because like a lot of times graveyards and cemeteries are just empty space like nobody uses them nothing happens with them you know and for the most part at least from what little i've read the reason that a bodies need to be like um put like contained there's like special laws and ordinances for containing bodies it's because of the chemicals we put in them to preserve them a little bit um after death like those chemicals are extremely harmful to the water table um but again i mean if you have a bunch of dead bodies in one place too that like aren't like you know are decomposing like yeah stuff's gonna get gnarly pretty fast like decomposing bodies have tons of bacteria and stuff and you don't want that in the water table like none of that like it's not great but like in a situation like this, maybe, where they're, like, but they're, like, surviving by the skin of their teeth, you know? Like, gold teeth, hey, hey, but, like, it seems maybe a waste, but then again, there's, like, a whole, like, you know, it's, like, let the, leave the body alone when it's dead, you know, like, type thing, like, let a person have rest or whatever, but, like, I think I, if I die, or when I die, I guess, if I die, because I'm immortal, haha, like, I don't know, it'd be kind of, I've always thought for, like, like many years now that it would be nice to like have a tree growing near where i'm at you know and like like i don't know maybe you get kind of weird about it but like you know like you could like you know your body kind of like becomes the tree sort of in a way like your your nutrients and minerals like get like wound up into the tree and everything and like i don't know it'd be kind of nice you know in a way i don't know it sounds kind of weird but like i could see the appeal um but yeah it's a uh, but it, but giving it to people food growing food plants out of dead bodies i i don't think it's bad for you it's just like the natural tendency to go Ew! you know like but i don't think it's necessarily harmful but i'd have to look it up you see what do you mean by that do you see anyone ailing in my camp unlike the people in edgewater my flock don't fall sick with plague. Flock is kind of a weird way to refer to people, too. We're, get, we're getting into, like, weird, like, cultish territory. You seem pretty calm for someone who's just admitting to grinding up corpses for fertilizer. The Vale's barren. Been that way for years. Soil's been sterile about as long as I can remember. What's Parvati think about this? Yeah, but we're talking about people here. We are talking about organic compounds once inhabited by a sentient mind. A person lasts only until the last synapse burns out. The last brainwave flickers into the void. What remains is a carcass moldering neath the soil. Decomposition is a natural process, essential to new life. All life feeds on other life. You've been quiet, Provati. You have an opinion? I'm so glad I can talk to her about this. She's using your friends as fertilizer. Oh, I don't know. If it was me, I'd be glad to volunteer. Yeah, Even I mean... If others alive, that'd be a beautiful gift to leave. But none of the folk you used had a say. <laughs> you didn't ask, ma'am. And what about my dad? I talk to his grave every Saturday. Is... Is he even there? Robert is just where you left him, dear. He died too long ago. By now, he's not but a skeleton. I need to think about this. Whatever you say, my dear. So there's that too, right? Where like, if, if you could volunteer to be compost, that's one thing. But if you just want to be left alone when you die, like, that's also fine. You know what I mean? Okay. What do you think? Can I? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Perception. Thomas seems fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Like a puppy. Yeah, he's definitely a puppy. Oh no! <laughs> That's terrible. Are you sure? He nearly fell over when he saw you. He never told me a word to that effect. And since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being, about feeling different. Ah. And nothing had to get weird. Yep. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. She's sweet. 
I'd like to do that for him. I, uh, I, I feel, I feel that though, where it's like, okay, as long as no, none of us say anything, we don't have to say anything about it, about yes or no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was, I think that was good. I'm glad I talked to Parvati, cause, um, cause yeah, like that's, it, it's a, it's a good idea in its own way. Oh, there's more out here. And like, on, like, what if you had like little gravestones next to them? You know what I mean? Uh, the Dalish do it in, um, or at least the, like, older, not the, uh, not the Dalish, but, um, the elves from, uh, the Dales. Uh, oh my gosh, what was in Dragon Age, not Arlathan, what was the next one? In the Emerald, in the Emerald Graves, which are only called the Emerald Graves now, because, um, the elves who lived there like 600 years ago in Dragon Age time, they, anytime an elf or a warrior died, they would, uh, it, was, it was an emerald knight, anytime an emerald knight died, they would plant a tree over their body as a, as like a memorial, essentially, and there, but there was still like a stone, you know, gravestone there that you could read. So like, if you did that, I think that would be great, like for, and as long as people got to choose about whether or not they participated in that, I think it's a great idea. I think Parvati said that real well. I think they do that in uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 as well. The elves. But theirs is, uh, theirs is, is different. They like, it's like this whole spiritual thing where like in order to be reborn, in order for their species to thrive, they have to be planted under like a specific kind of tree. Which is really interesting. Their whole thing is pretty interesting. Okay, what all... So, oops. We've got... So I'll be diverting power to here. Uh, despite the, like, um... Moral... Sort of moral gray area of all this. Of, of the using dead bodies as fertilizer type thing. Um... Da, da, da. I still think they're doing they're doing better here. Like they're they're healthier, they're happier, they're more free, you know. Um, but I need to for sure. I need to go to the community center and find that. Uh, book and then I need to find the one that's in town somewhere and I have no idea where the third one's supposed to be I feel like I need to get like these quests done before I fix my ship because I feel like once I fix my ship I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to ski daddle fairly quickly you know <laughs> oh I guess uh, I will select that one. I am glad that I don't have to run through each area and kill things again. Like, I like clearing out areas. You know what I mean? Oh, I need to change my armor, too. Although, if I'm in corporate armor, people might not like me also. You know what I mean? Like, more free... free-thinking types are gonna be like, hmm... And I'm gonna be like, listen, I scavenged this armor. Did I... See something moving in there? That was weird. I wonder if, um... The way out? Yeah. Did I... Did I go upstairs last time? Okay, I think I did. This reminds me of like Stardew Valley. Oh, I didn't. Where like there's a community center that you can fix and I'm like, I'll fix your guys' community center and then everything will be okay. And, and the game's like, ha ha. Nice. 
I guess I hadn't come up here. I was, I was like, I've been to the community center, so I wonder if I would have, if this only showed up now. Um, because, oh, because I got the quest, or if, if it was there and I just missed it, and apparently, I just missed it. Hey, yeah. Um, oh, I guess I'll call this episode here. Um, but yeah, we'll try to finish up these quests that we've got for this area. Divert the power to the to the happy hippie yard where your corpse becomes a tree. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>